with money or respective scholars and at the matter of student of strategic management of the University of Indonesia. I'm so delighted to be here on the International Conference on Knowledge, Culture and Change in Organization. I will present virtually my paper with the title of Lining Project Performance to Organizational Performance, a Strategic Management Perspective. This paper presents a research model and a theoretical background. The study focuses on the impact of project performance on organizational performance in government institutions. The project management approach in Indonesia is gaining acceptance as a tool to improve the performance of government organization. The government is adopting project management to deal with project administration that has been traditionally managed intuitively and solely depend on project managers' experiences. This traditional ways is not adequate anymore, especially for bilateral or external soft loan projects run by government of Indonesia. It has to be done in more innovative ways that engage stakeholder negotiation and information technology adoption. However, it has been theoretically questionable to integrate the project management approach to organizations' superior performance. One idea that is perhaps the most widely used term in strategic management. The attributes of project, which among others are temporary and unique, seem contrary to a sustainable competitive advantageous idea that led to superior organizational performance. Discussion of the synergy between project performance with organizational performance have been currently studied intensively. Strategic management disciplines have also enriched by intensive analysis of the scientific point of project management. This gives ample scope for the development of theory of discourse, especially for project based organization. Several fundamental issues must be identified first before putting the project into the realism of strategic management. Projects that are temporary at first glance seem consistent with the concept of sustainable advantage, which is accentuated by strategic management. The project is a temporary effort to create a unique product or services while project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques in project activities to meet or exceed stakeholder needs and expectations of the project. Although theoretically the project is defined as a temporary effort, but the consequences of success or failure of a project will have an impact on the organization or the project skills. Not only that, this impact can be extended to the public. In this context, the performance of the project becomes important as determinant of organizational performance. Performance measurement in the public sector cannot be hasty in adopting a total evaluation system of performance in private sector or business. However, the turn of new authorization in Indonesia to order of reformation also brought significant changes to the face of public structure in Indonesia. Administrative and regu regulatory function of the government of ten and extension. For example, through the concept of enterprising the government by establishing the enterprise government body. This body can be formed by a unit of work, by government operation that serve the public, such as healthcare, education, area management, uh, licensing, and others. 
to distinguish it from the function of government as regulator and policy maker, the government enterprise body can come from various level of echelon and non echelon in Indonesian agencies government. There is a reward from the public in a significant proportion related to the services provided, and some are likely depend on the state funds and budget. As the date to this uh, June 2012, the number of enterprise government bodies in Indonesia is set to 134 institutions. The issue of policy making bureaucracy always stand in the public sector including the preparation of organizational structure of new institution. I quote from Holly 2008 that there is a significant relationship between project management and company performance. The trend is increasing, especially if it is moderated by strategy and structure of the project. In the context of strategic management, each project within an organization should contribute to the formulation of strategies and now it has been formulated. This integration requires a process to prioritize projects that provide benefits for the achievement of the organization, or in other words, the organization objective are implemented through the strategy outlined in the selection of the project that supported. Problems to be answered through this research will focus on selection of projects that align with the vision and mission of the organization, the adoption of technology to support project performance, matrix project management of organizational structure, and some review of the performance of the project regulated by the project structure. <clears throat> this study uses a unit of government through a financial management agency general service to funds. The enterprise government body election is based on two considerations. First is um, established form of government services to provide the public the supply of goods and services being sold without a priority for profit and in doing activities based on the principles of efficiency and productivity. The importance of aligning the goals of information system strategy with the broader interests of the organization has been frequently mentioned in the literature of strategic alignment. Strategic alignment is initially defined as conformance or fit, inherently dynamic between external and internal domains, such as strategic product or market, administrative structure, business process, business process and IT. Enhanced economic benefits to find the external conformity between the position of the external and internal arrangement is also one of the point of strategic alignment. Sibura states that scholar who examined the strategic alignment is generally argued that the alignment between IT strategy with the master plan is required as an internal response to the business strategy. The result of the study program management in the 90s issued by MIT, concludes the basic framework in which it is stated that the variable that links between strategy, organizational, culture, and other variables are related. Theory of strategic alignment is dominated by the relationship between business strategy with the strategy in the field of information technology. Business success depends on the alignment between business strategy and strategic information technology process and organizational infrastructure, process and infrastructure, as well as taking into consideration the organization internal and external factors. I quoted from Gurn and Seto, 2000. They said that the success of aligning business strategy and IT strategy is influenced by the selection of stock management to approach the proper alignment to achieve business goals and how to customize the system of external information with internal, I'm sorry, external market with internal information. 